Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Tales of Symphonia. And we're starting with a skit. Last time we, uh... Cleaned up some remaining business with the designs. Took out another human ranch. They gotta be running low on those. And today we're heading back to Alicia's grave. As discussed at the end of the last episode. So let's uh, do just that. It's on this little island down here. In we go. Alright, looks like Regal's coming with us. Decided to finally come into the village. This isn't really a village, this is honestly more of like a resort. There's an amusement park, there's just a big business, and a gigantic hotel slash shopping center. Really not a town. Oh, this doesn't look good. This is not a great way to... ...to start this. Master Regal, what are you doing here? So, the president himself decided to pay a visit. Perfect. President? The route to the Toys Valley Mine opens by my voice print and cornea scan. Forcing it open would undoubtedly cause the X-Sphere Mine area to collapse. Is that so? In that case, Regal, you're just going to have to come open it for us! I'm going to be out of business if I don't get my hands on some more X-Fears. I think not. Besides, Rodile is dead. You don't have anyone to unload huge numbers of X-Fears on. Are you stupid? I don't need Rodile. I've got the Pope himself on my side. And there's plenty of people around who'd love to get their hands on some X-Fears. That's enough. I cannot forgive you for killing an innocent person. Kujinawa, you're working with this guy? Soon, the king will die, and the pope will take over. And when that happens, I'm going to grind your pathetic Lazareno company into the ground! Are you alright, George? Yes, Master Regal. Thank you. My name is Regal Bryant. I was granted the title of Duke by His Highness, and also the President of Lazareno Company. Although it would seem that the Chosen already knows me. I saw you at one of the Princess's birthday parties. Oh yeah. I'd forgotten that this guy's actually a member of High Society too. <laughs> then Alicia's killer, Bryant, is... Well, wait. It can't be... Alicia. Master, I'm so happy to see you again before I disappear. I'm sorry. Even after death, you still suffer. It's all right. It's not your fault. Alicia. What do you mean? Alicia and I were in love. And then I, his servant, interfered and forced them apart alicia was handed over to varley he wanted to use her in an x-sphere experiment was he trying to create crucius crystals it seems so but the experiment failed
I've fulfilled my promise. The mine is yours. Now please, return Alicia to me. <laughs> sure thing, bub. You can have her. I don't have any use for a failed piece of work like that anyway. What? This is Alicia. She wasn't compatible with the X-Fear experiment. It worked just fine on another from her family. Master Rico, please, kill me. I... I can't. I could never kill you with my own hands. It's because I love you that I want you to do it. Master Rico killed me in order to save me. It was the only way. Just like marble. I'm so glad I got to see you again in the end. I have no regrets now. So please, Rico, stop punishing yourself. Alicia. But with my own hands, I... I will disappear very soon. So please, don't leave me anything to worry about. You don't need those shackles. You've suffered enough. I took the life of the one I love. These are the symbol of my crime, as well as my punishment. You don't need that punishment anymore. Please, Rico. Genus and I once experienced the same thing you did. And I also imagined what it must have been like for my dad. When my mom turned into a monster and he struck her down, he must have suffered as well. Your father did the same thing? That's what I heard. I don't know if the decisions you or my dad made were correct, but I don't think my mom would have wanted my dad to punish himself and live the way you have. Is that true? Yes, it's just as he says. At least, I don't want you to live like that. All right, but I will never use these hands as tools of death. I swear that to you, to you and to Lloyd. Once we have defeated those who use X-Spheres to toy with people's lives, I shall remove these bonds. Thank you, Master. Persea, I think I can finally rest in peace. Please destroy the crystal before I am totally absorbed into the X-Sphere. Why? Can't you stay like you are now? If I stay like this, I will live on forever. An isolated consciousness, unable to even speak, Existing for eternity it would be true hell. Persea, Regal, what do we do? Please, set her free. Yes. Goodbye, Alicia. Thank you. Persea, please forgive Master Regal. Please. I'm sorry I never said anything about this until now. I am a criminal. Master Regal confessed to killing Alicia and went to prison on his own will. While I was in prison, the Pope promised to arrest Varley in exchange for kidnapping Colette. I believed him and agreed to do it. So that's why you were after us? Yes. Please. I ask you to postpone my final judgment until we defeat Crucius and stop them from using X-Spheres to toy with people's lives. As long as it's okay with Persea. Anyway, we'd already thought of Regal as a friend. Varley was responsible for Alicia's death as well, okay? I'll try not to think of you as my enemy. I'm not sure I can change right away. I'm sorry. It was Alicia's last request, so... 
I won't say a word about it anymore. Now that's a title. Alright. So, with that out of the way... I believe we got some more... Su oh, I believe we got some more summon spirits to cap. Well, not capture, but... Form packs with. So, let's, uh... Get on it. Also, if anything's looking different, I've had to, uh... Switch from capturing on a GameCube to capturing on a Wii. As my GameCube kind of... Kind of died. During my last, uh... Test play session. So that's not good. Rip GameCube. I'm, like, legitimately sad about that. Had that GameCube for 14 years. And what really sucks is that's how I capture Game Boy games, was through the Game Boy Player attachment. So now I can't do that at all. But yeah, if anything looks different, that's... That's what's going on. Just glad I had the Wii still lying around. Or else this series would be pretty much dead. Alright, well, anyway, we finally know the relationship between Regal and Prisea now. So that's good. It's about time we figured that out. Now, back to Silveron. Where is the base? There it is. Let's go. So our first destination is the fire seal to make a pact with a freet. And the fire seal is in this desert somewhere. Around the edges. Somewhere those ruins we went in way back at the start of the game. There they are. So we're gonna drop out and make a save. Oh, no, no riards. See if I can remember my way around this place. It's been a long, long time. Alright, here we go. Okay, so before we start, let's make sure people are set up properly. Who's got my flare cape? Sheena? No, give that to. Now yeah, give it to Rain. We want Rain to be the one with the defenses. Any chance I have some kitchen mittens? I do. So that gives rain double fire resist. And that will do nicely. As far as text, Genus, I want you to not cast your fire skills. That would be most helpful. Alright. Here we go. I want you to. Ah, oh, anyway, here we go. You 
who possess the right of the pact. I am one who was bound to Mythos. I am Sheena. I seek a pact with Ifrit. I ask that thou annulst thy pact with Mythos and establish a new pact with me. I shall test whether you are worthy of forming a pact. All right, no, uh... Alright, no mixing words here. Efreet going straight into it. Now sadly, Efreet has no weakness. Not water or ice, believe it or not. Which is a shame. Need you to get away from rain, please. Alright, rain, er, not rain. Lloyd, throw yourself a pineapple gel. We're getting a little low on TP there. Oh, that was bad. That was real bad, Gina, or no. No. Item, genus, life bottle, Lloyd, ASAP. Please let that have been on Sheena. All right, Sheena, life bottle, Lloyd. Wow, he didn't even hit the ground. Genus life bottle her, please, before Rain's heel goes off. Sheena life bottle to Lloyd. Lloyd, uh, lemon gel. Alright, we've stabilized. That was actually kind of scary. It's the practice run, this fight was completely trivial. Alright, got him. Hey, an attack symbol. in which the two worlds no longer must sacrifice one another. I ask thou to grant me thy power. I bestow upon you my raging inferno. Celsius, it has been a long time. I never thought I'd have to see your face again. While we may be opposing forces, must you avoid me so earnestly? What choice do we have? We are harmful to one another. Then perhaps we should be joyous that our mana has been severed. Who knows? What is clear, though, is that this situation will affect the entire world. Indeed. All we can do now is trust in the Pact Maker. Yes. We leave everything in your hands. All right, just like we planned. But you know, I've been thinking, if the worlds are separated from each other, 
we're not going to be able to see each other again, are we? Why not? We can just go back and forth with the Riards. Right now, we can move in between the worlds because they're connected by the flow of mana. But if the worlds are split apart, we don't know what will happen. So the instant the flow of mana is severed, the two worlds may part ways forever. Will that mean that when we form the pact with the final summoned spirit, we'll all have to say goodbye? We don't know if that's really the case, so there's no point in worrying about it right now. True. All right, that's one more spirit down. And now we can go straight to get Sil. So let's head straight over there and rack it up while we're while we're going. Oh no, an earthquake. We're going to somehow lose the Riards, just like Final Fantasy V taught me. Earthquakes always remove our vehicle somehow. But no, that's not actually the case. Not this time. Alright, so... We are headed... to the mausoleum. Now, before we actually go there, there is a House of Salvation we can stop at for a quick heal. Get everybody's TP and stuff back at a nice cheap price. We haven't been to a House of Salvation in a long time. Hundred gold? Sure thing. not going to save here. I'll save outside the mausoleum. Alright, so the mausoleum is out on this little peninsula. Same place it was previously. It hasn't moved. Right, right, I need to save out here. Almost forgot. Also, genus, tag out. I want Regal for this. And in terms of strategy... Regal, I'm gonna set you to scatter. Because I want the three melee hitting different targets. And I almost forgot to save again. Almost. Not quite that stupid. Not quite. Oop. There we go. So this is the seal that had all the traps. Which I can hopefully avoid. No promises. My level has increased, but my competence has not. Hey, I did it. All right, no extra damage. Sheena, we're counting on you with Sylph. Bring it on! Summoner, are you not? We the Sylph already share a pact with Mythos. I am Sheena. I ask that thou annulst thy pact with Mythos and establish a new pact with me. Ah, so the next pact maker's finally here. Okay then, we'll test out your powers! New 
All right, so we want to focus down the one with the shield. Let's go ahead and get a burst on her. These guys don't have a ton of HP. And this is why I didn't bring Gina, since there's three enemies. I want one melee on each of them. That way Rain can sit back and do her job. And as long as Rain's doing her job, we can't really lose. Whoa, okay, somebody let Sheena die. Somebody lost control of their sill. Where are my life bottles? Sheena, get up. Alright, one down. That's just going to make this easier. Alright, Lloyd, I want you to throw yourself a pineapple gel. Can we get one more down? Alright. How did that happen? Regal, throw him a life bottle, please. Oh, good healing circle. Wait, how did I get my targets? Oh, it flew over here. Alright, two down. It's a pushover from here. Anyway, everybody just focus fire down. And it's done. You picked the wrong guy to mess with. Oh, a lot of buff items. Nice. Wow! You're strong! I'm impressed too. Yes, you shall have what you seek. Now make your vow. I want to create a place in which the two worlds no longer must sacrifice one another. Understood. But please, keep to your vow. We do not wish to be betrayed again. Whoa, so, it's been like, what, uh, 4,000 years? How's it going? It's looking good. <laughs> it has been a long time, hasn't it? It seems that the mana flow between us has been severed. Yep, uh, there's gonna be an earthquake here in a bit. After all, we just basically ripped out the mana link. Hello? Yeah, that pretty much sums it up. Take care, everyone! See y'all later! Okay, later! Just one more to go. Do you really think Silveron and Tethayala will be cut off from each other forever? We're gonna do this regardless, right? Yeah. But if the Riards stop working after we form the last pact, we're going to be stuck in one world or the other. The people of Mizuho wish to move to Silveront. There has to be something we can do. Hmm. I suggest we do some investigation on the effects of separating the worlds before we form the pact with the final summon spirit. It seems as though the shaking has increased in magnitude. The time between the severing of the mana flow and the resulting earthquake has decreased as well. I guess the worlds are struggling to split apart.
All right, so that's two more summon spirits down. There are two remaining. Let's hook Sheena up with that new title. All right, so next time we are headed back to Tethiala to check out the Temple of Darkness and uh, make a pact with Shadow. I'll see you then.